you very much. Please welcome Mr. Hermes. Thank you. To His Grace Bishop Daniel, to His Grace Bishop Amber Daniel of the Coptic Orthodox Church in Australia, Reverend Fathers, to the Honorable Member of Federal, State and Local Government, to Mr. Peter Tadros and all organizers of this gathering, the Australian Coptic Movement Association, to all our friends, the Copts of Egypt, to all peace-loving people who have gathered here, greetings from the Assyrian of Australia. We representative from the Assyrian community in Australia have gathered here to show our support to the Copts of Egypt. Copts are facing organized oppression and forced immigration in different regions of Egypt. The terrorists, supported by the Egyptian government, raid homes, church, endanger properties, and threaten lives of innocent Christians. It's very hard to believe that in the 21st century, security and equality for Christians in Egypt and most Islamic countries of the Middle East is still a dream. The Copts are the second largest nation in Egypt, but without rights. They are facing campaign of ethnic cleansing carried out by the fanatic Muslim, support and blessed by the Islamic government of the country. Tens of thousands of Egyptian Christians are leaving the country in the wake of the Egyptian revolution and subsequent Islamic takeover of politics. The so-called Arab Spring have brought disaster to all the non-Muslim minorities in the Middle East whose countries are affected by this catastrophic transition. The Egyptian authorities are responsible for ensuring the protection of their citizens, their homes and livelihoods. Time and time again, President Morsi claimed to be president of all Egyptians. Now he needs to take action to ensure that sectarian violence is prevented and when it occurs, it is probably investigated and those responsible are brought to justice. <laughs> Christian in the Middle East are continuously paying the price as a consequence of the silence of the international community. For the last 10 years, we were talking about the exorcist of Assyrians from Iraq that started after the U.S. invasion in 2003, which marked the biggest threat to the survival of our nation in modern history after the bitter genocide committed against us by the Ottoman Turkey during World War I. Assyrians, like the Copts, are now dispersed throughout the world, facing systematic campaign of massacre and destruction. 600,000 Christian Assyrian, approximately half of Iraqi pre-war population, has fled the country. Also today, we are witnessing another Islamic country losing its indigenous Christian minority. Assyrians in Syria are fleeing in masses from threats of kidnapping, rapes, and murder. Behind the daily reporting of bombings and shelling that has left the country in ruins, there is an ethno-religious cleansing taking place, and soon Syria will be emptied of its Christians. The Assyrian Universal Alliance in Australia is proud of the strong relationship that we have with the committee and youth of the Australian Coptic movement. We have a long history of working together for a common cause. We hope that with a common resolve and united voice of the Copts and Assyrians, we can remind the world that there are Christian communities in the Middle East, such as the Copts of Egypt and Assyrians of Iraq and Syria, who are facing oppression and violence every day. We add our voice to yours to appeal to the Australian government to lay a, out a comprehensive strategy 
for assisting the Copts of Egypt. Copts need protection and safe living in their land, Egypt. As the Egyptian government is failing to provide that, it becomes the duty of the international community to enable the Copts and Assyrians to have security and equality with Muslims. As Egypt and Iraq are signatory on the United Nations declarations of, for human rights, it's accountable to provide that. In conclusion, I express our gratitude to the organizer and thank you for inviting us.